Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm still a bit ill, so I still sound croaky, um, which is why my videos have also been a bit iffy recently because I just haven't felt up to filming. Um, but yeah, so I'm back with another styling video. I've got a few like, styling videos I want to do actually um, with different like key spring pieces like a white shirt, my new Birkenstocks. I also want to do my midi dress I wear all the time. Um, and then also pregnancy outfits. Um, so if you guys are interested in any of those, then let me know in the comments below what you want to see first, or if there's something completely different you want to see me style up. I was also thinking when I was doing these outfits that um, it might be interesting to do another review on my Chanel bag now that I've had it like five years, four or five years. Um, so yeah, let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. I know I did one after like a year of having it, but I just thought, obviously it's an investment bag, so maybe it might be interesting to see one after a few years and like wear and tear and stuff. Um, so let me know if that's something you want to see. Um, so back to today's video, I am styling my trench coat. I love a trench, I just feel like you can't go wrong with them. I will link um, loads of different high street trenches as well as this trench. Um, this is quite hard to find now because it was last season's, but they have bought one out this season So I'll try and find it and if I can't then I'll link this season's um, for you guys as well But I'll just like find as many links as possible um, And I've seen some really nice ones on the high street that are quite expensive like over a hundred pounds But they look really similar to this um, and what I love about this one is how lightweight it is and you'll see it in the video it's like just hangs really nicely it is lined it is warm but it's not that it's like i don't know what the material is but you know how some high street trenches and like even i feel like Burberry and stuff when i've looked at them they're like thick cotton and um, so they're quite structured this is not like that it hangs really nicely it's got a really nice oversized look i love how long it is um, so yeah, I just am obsessed with this trench coat basically. You see it a lot on my Instagram So if you want more ideas on how to wear it, then head over to there and I will also link um, Some more outfit ideas in the description box below and I have the best intentions to do a blog post to go with this With all the outfits that I've worn on my Instagram But as I said, I'm not very well and I also have a one-year-old and I'm also 23 weeks pregnant So I feel like you can't really hold me to anything at the moment um, And I also want to do a vlog soon. So anyway, Oh my gosh, it's two minutes, 43 seconds. I've been blabbering and we've not even got into the video yet. So let's whiz through the outfits. Oh my gosh, just looked at my phone and it is 11, 11. That's like a magic angel number, can you see? Um, sorry, comment if you believe in things like that too. <laughs> but to me, I'm like, this video is gonna do so well because <laughs> it's an angel number. Um, so the first outfit is one that I wore recently and I actually wore it for an ad for Daniel Wellington sunglasses um, And I love it so much. I actually wore bare legs before but I've not faked hand and My legs are so bruised. I've got really bad bruising from my pregnancy I'm not really sure what's going on at the moment. It's being investigated But anyway, it's a bit embarrassing to have my legs out because it literally looks like I've just been beaten up <laughs> But just on the legs, it's really strange. Um, so yeah, I've just got a picture of it up here. That's why I'm like talking through. Um, let me just move actually. <laughs> so there we go, the outfit can be here. Um, so I've got my knee-high boots on. Obsessed with these boots. Obsessed with this blazer. Obsessed with this jacket. Obsessed with this shirt. Obsessed. I literally love everything in this outfit. Um, I've been living in this oversized shirt since I've been pregnant. Because I just feel like it's a really nice, easy thing to put on. I really wish they had more colours. Um, it's from Cezanne, I'll link it below, it's a real classic, um, it's just really nice, it's like thick, so it's not like flimsy, but it's not too thick, so it's structured, it's just a really nice material, it hangs nicely, fits me perfectly, and it covers the waistline of a lot of things, so if I'm wearing jeans not done up or something, then it's perfect, or like leggings, um, so I've been wearing it so much, and then I love it, I love the double layer of jackets, so I love it, it looks really nice without the trench, this outfit, with the, just the blazer, but also I love it with them both, um, and this blazer is my Frankie Shop blazer, and um, I don't know if you guys, like you might be new here, um, watching for the first time, I'm obsessed with Frankie Shop blazers, I've got it in brown too, and I wear it so much, I decided to get the black one, um, they are so good. So the next outfit is another one I've worn, I think a lot of these are things that I've worn, and because I just feel like it just makes sense to show you outfits that I've worn because I like them. <laughs> um, so I wore this, I literally just took the dog to the groomers, but I was like, I want to shoot my new jeans. Um, and my mum came with me and took pictures of me in Starbucks car park. <laughs> 
it's a glamorous life um so again these jeans are not done up i love these jeans so much um they are from seven for mankind and they are just so nice um i will link them below i, I really need to like try and have a look if i can find the name of them because they sent me a lookbook to pick from so I didn't pick from the website. So when I go on the website, I'm like, which one is it? Because it didn't have a name. So I need to like have a look in the label of the jeans. But I'll try and link the exact pair. Um, and I'll also link like a high street alternative. Um, and then I've just got my Dior um, low, uh, trainers on. I feel like these look really nice with jeans. Um, but also I think Converse would look really cool with this outfit too. But I just kind of like to the blue tonal look with the jeans and the logo print. And um, then I've just, sorry, I keep looking at my phone. Just got that little mini ridiculous by far bag, which I love. Um, it is ridiculous because you can't really fit anything in it. But I feel like as a mum, everyone was like, you don't want small bags when you become a mum because you're going to need so much in it. Wrong. I literally don't need to put anything in my bag because I've got a baby changing bag all the time. So I can just wear the most ridiculous bags at the moment. So another outfit that I've worn, number three, and this is actually, I haven't worn it with a trench coat, but in my head I was like, it would look really good with a trench coat. So I knew I wanted to do it for this video. Um, it's my midi dress I literally wear all the time, the one that I mentioned at the beginning, if you want to see a styling video. I'm living in this because it's so comfy and it's so easy to just chuck on. Um, and obviously being pregnant, it's just like... I feel like dressed like this is really flattering when you're pregnant too. Um, but yeah, obviously all of these outfits you can wear not pregnant too because I the only maternity wear I actually have bought is a pair of leggings. So literally I just, I'm not a big fan of maternity wear. I think it's really wasteful. Um, don't come at me if I start wearing it. <laughs> I might change my mind when I get bigger. But I just think it's wasteful. I'd rather get things I can wear after I'm pregnant too. And I like oversized clothes anyway. So I've just got it with this striped jumper, which is some Zara, if you saw my Zara haul, link it below if you didn't, it's my last video I did, um, I love this jumper so much, they do it in cream with navy stripes too, which I want so badly, but I just feel like it's stupid, but actually, do you know what, the only thing I've been wearing recently, because I just feel so uncomfortable with everything, is this jumper, so I feel like in this video I've just convinced myself I'm going to get the cream one. Um, and then I've got it with my Dior trainers again, I actually bought these when I was pregnant last time with Margot, and I was like... These are going to be my cool mum shoes. Um, but I've only really just started wearing them. I feel like I was just so into my Converse that I haven't been wearing these. And then I saw them when we moved and was like, why haven't I been wearing these amazing shoes? Um, so now the love affair has begun. And the next outfit is the outfit I actually wore yesterday. Um, and my dad said that I look like a prisoner because me and Margot, I accidentally put her, well I didn't accidentally, I put her in stripes too, but I didn't realise that I was wearing stripes at the time and that we were matching. Um, so my dad was like, the prisoners are here. <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyway, um, this is what I basically wore yesterday, except for I wore trainers and no makeup. Um, my oversized Arquette, um, sweatshirt, I love this so much, it's such a classic, I just can't, you guys might tell from my videos in general and just my, what I wear, I'm a big fan of stripes, um, and yeah, I just love this, and they actually have bought it out in like a dress sweatshirt style, but I'm like, is it too much to buy that when I've already got the actual jumper version. I feel like it might be. Um, then I've just got it on my leggings. These are my maternity ones, but obviously any leggings. Um, and then I've got my loafers. I love these loafers so much. Got them last spring again, like just as it was, oh no, maybe I got them at the end of summer. I got them just as it was like going cold, maybe autumn time. Um, so I didn't get to wear them much. But then this, I'm so glad I got them because at the time I was thinking, probably shouldn't have got them because I've not worn them. But then after winter, as it's coming to spring, I've literally not stopped wearing them. So I'm so happy I got them. Finally, I've just got a really, really, really casual, simple outfit on, which is what I'm wearing now because I've just finished doing the cutaways. Um, I've just got my black um, split hem leggings. These are not maternity. They are from Zara. Got them when I was pregnant with Margot, though, but I reckon you could probably... I bet they still do them, and I'll... If not, I'll find a link because I feel like everywhere has them. Um, I just got them in, like, an XL or whatever so that they went around my bump. And they are a bit saggy on the bottom, but... <laughs> It's fine. Uh, and then I've got my New Balance trainers. I'm obsessed with these trainers. These look really nice with like sports socks and my normal leggings too. That's what I wore yesterday with the striped sweatshirt. Another nice look, but I was like, I want to try and mix them all up so they're a bit different. 
Um, and then I've just got my, this is my American Vintage jumper. It's so soft. I love the tonal vibes too with like the oatmeal and the, I feel like this is almost like a khaki colour. It's like, it isn't khaki, but you, it could pass as khaki. Do you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't call it khaki, but if someone said to me that's khaki, I wouldn't be like, no, it's not. <laughs> Does that make any sense whatsoever? Um... But yeah, anyway, just back to my picture. Um, I just really like this. And actually, I feel like these leggings and like leggings in general, since being pregnant with Margot and again, I kind of got it over my whole, you have to have your crotch covered when you're pregnant. Um, when you're pregnant. When you're wearing leggings because it's like gross. But to be honest, I don't really have a choice right now. So, and I don't always want to wear really long things. Um, and I actually quite like it playing with the proportions and I feel like because I've got a coat on too like I don't feel as exposed I feel like I just spoke so quickly through all of those but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video um, Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite look is. I feel like mine is probably number two or number five um, They're like more casual looks because that's just my style even though all of this is my style But you know what I mean like um, my go-to is just like casual every day i'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already i am trying to do weekly fashion videos when i'm not ill <laughs> and i'm um, gonna try and do some vlogs too for you guys i've got a really exciting new beauty tool that i really want to share with you guys and show like my evening skincare routine so i'm gonna try and do a vlog this week maybe i think i might go for a solo shopping trip in london too so i feel like i might just vlog that and then like include it all in um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to stop blabbering now. Um, it's just really nice to chat to you guys because I feel like I haven't done a video in ages. I feel like we're catching up. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Oh, and also another update. We are, like Jack's got two weeks off work now. So we're going to finally get moving with some of the house stuff. Our bedroom's nearly finished. Our new bed's coming today. And then it's going to be pretty much finished like once we dress the bed and just put some bits and bobs in there. Um... So yeah, I'm going to try and show you more home bits as well. So, see you next time. Bye.